So today I'm going to be showing you a Swiss tournament generator. And for those of you that don't know, a Swiss tournament is where uh, the participants in the tournament participate in every round. They don't just get eliminated and uh, quit playing. And it uh, uses a series of calculations based off of wins and losses to uh, make real rankings and not just uh, determine who's in first place. So we're going to start off here with this uh, README file. Um, series of Python SQL scripts meant to help generate a fair tournament. Once the Udacity setup for Vagrant is in place, move the tournament directory to the shared Vagrant folder, use the command line to set up the database, and start the program. Um, all right, we're going to initiate all this after I get done showing you the uh, rest of the files here. Yeah, this right here is just another handy dandy logo that I uh, use in the program here. Alright, this is a list of 32 combatants uh, with their uh, score from a previous tournament. Um, this is stored in a combatants.txt file uh, within the directory of all the uh, scripts here. So Udacity started me out with some uh, uh, methods that they wanted me to complete, and I added some of my own. We're just going to go through them here one at a time. Um, I've got two separate commands here for uh, queries that return data and uh, uh, queries that um, commit uh, uh, commands to the database. Uh, I generate all of the commands in other methods and just pass them up here to uh, save time. As you can see in the highlighted section right here, uh, this is how we pass the name data to avoid SQL injection attacks. All right, so these next two delete commands here deletes all the matches and deletes all the players. Uh, as it deletes all the matches, uh, it also uh, resets the win count. And uh, when it deletes all the players, it resets the uh, ID sequence that uh, is assigned um, as the players are added. See, count players is not something that I really use, but it's part of the methods that uh, Udacity uses to test the program. Uh, and then we've got register player uh, with the uh, old score overload equaling zero, so that uh, you know it doesn't necessarily have to be sent with an, any old score data, and it just registers the players into the database. Uh, player standings here uh, returns with the proper order here. Now the order is something that you're going to see over and over. Uh, it's sorted by wins, uh, bonus score, and old score all in descending order. Uh, three sets of data there to try and help determine real clear winners and losers and get uh, matches uh, between people who are of equal level. Uh, player win-loss here just uh, returns the uh, ID number wins and losses uh, sorted by ID. I use that to uh, help assign various things uh, sorted by ID. Uh, it is better for stepping through uh, the list uh, with integer variables. All right, so this defeated players here is really the only place I use the uh, matches form. And uh, what I do is I return the ID number of uh, any players that a player has uh, defeated uh, so that I can then further calculate um, a bonus score based off of those players' win-loss records. All 
All right, and so report bonus uh, is the command that I use to set the bonus points in the database. Uh, report match is uh, to update the win-loss values. Uh, you can see that uh, it inserts into matches the winner and the loser of the match uh, for future searching, and then uh, it increments the wins and losses by one of the appropriate winner and loser there. All right, so you see a lot of green here, a lot of test code, a lot. Of, I, I really wanted to do a lot more of what this method does with SQL as opposed to doing it with Python, but um, I just I couldn't find support to to help me with my SQL syntax. So instead, I just moved on and uh, created a uh, loop here that uh, assigns into the uh, appropriate uh, uh, tuple. I think is the word there uh, that Udacity wanted me to get the code running. So that's the actual tournament.py with all of the SQL commands. All right, and tournament test is uh, what Udacity wanted me to uh, have to run the initial tests of all the uh, stuff that they wanted me to check for. Um, the only thing that I've added here so far from the frums is the uh, random stuff so that I could generate random winners and losers. Uh, the four things that you see collapsed, uh, methods that you see collapsed there are the uh, methods that uh, Udacity gave me to test. I'm not going to bother explaining those. They're not really as much fun as all this Mortal Kombat stuff that I've added later on here. Okay, so this is uh, what gets tested as you run this uh, tournament test uh, dot pi. Um, the four uh, uh, things that Udacity wanted to test, and then of course we get into test combat. All right, so test combat here loads up the uh, database. Uh, or I'm sorry, it resets the database and then sends it to uh, register combatants and then begin combat to uh, get things started here. So for register combatants here, we're just taking the uh, input from the text file that I showed you earlier. Uh, with a little try and accept uh, error thing here if they don't have the uh, uh, extra uh, old score value. Um, yeah, uh, uh, that uh, overload gets accepted if, they, uh, if the variable doesn't get passed and this accept keeps the program from crashing if it isn't there when it's checked. All right, so begin combat here begins a five round, uh, 32 player tournament. Um, nice for loop sets up the five rounds. After each round, it does a bit of printing, sets up the pairs, uh, and returns the list of the top 10 players because uh, 32 is a bit much. Um, and then it can go down to restart combat if we decide that that's where we want to go with it. And then Restart Combat has a couple of uh, different ways that you can do it. Uh, you can start it from default, where it gets all the old values from the original text file. Or you can pass the number of wins as the uh, 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 results for the old score. Um, nice little fun thing to run it multiple times if you decide to. I uh, will when I... Uh, do the example here, but first I'm going to make sure that I've showed off all the methods that I've added here. All 
Okay, so combat match is just a random winner generator, nothing too fancy there. Uh, but calc bonus here is what actually calculates the uh, the bonus that you get. Um, and uh, okay, so you calculate the bonus score. Uh, each player's bonus is the total of the win divided by losses of each opponent that they've defeated. Um, it's it's really a mouthful, but it's easier to show you than it is to kind of describe. And just a quick note here, we're using floating points for this, since we're going to be doing a lot of dividing by numbers that make fractions. Alright, so the final thing we're going to show you is the actual SQL command to create the database. Nothing overly fancy here, just a bunch of integers and the one real text and uh, the serial for the ID. Um, all that being said, uh, let's, let's uh, get this thing started. Go back to the readme here and execute the uh, commands. Alright, so all tests completed and we've passed. Congratulations.